Hey there friends, thanks for checking in once again with Vincent Jackson and we're gonna talk about concealed carry mistakes that drive cops crazy. Thanks for joining once again, thanks, thanks. always a pleasure. But Vincent's a firearms instructor, he's also a police officer and so I thought this would be a cool topic to bring to you so you could share with us concealed carry mistakes that drive cops crazy. Well Dan, there's a few mistakes that drive cops crazy. One is when you get pulled over, having the gun in the car and not telling us about it and we find out the hard way or a different way. Another one is having the gun in the car and telling us and then trying to reach for it. It's also not a good thing. And the third one is having the gun, having a concealed carry license, not having a holster, but riding around with you on your passenger seat. You know, you walk up to a car and you see a gun in the passenger seat, the pucker factor goes up a little bit. Yeah, and, and you told me off camera that you usually tell people you know, you leave yours, how did you say that? Yeah. We usually say, hey, if you leave yours where yours is at, I'll leave mine where mine is at, and we'll both go home happy. Yeah, just take care of the business That's and why right. you got pulled over to begin with. How many times would you say somebody who is concealed carrying thinks that they are an extension of the law? Like, if, when you show up on the scene, that they are there, not to assist you, but like you guys are partners. Here, where I'm at, in mid-Michigan, we don't see that a lot here. But I read a lot of articles, a lot of police articles about people that have done that and they think that, oh, that I'm helping out. And then what you're doing is you're adding another gun to that situation and officers on the scene don't know who you are. Right, and, and when you show up, you're trying to evaluate the situation as quick as you can and here you have somebody who thinks that they're helping and they're actually making the situation worse. Exactly. Okay, how often do you see when you get a, a call and you respond and somebody used their gun, a legal carrier used their gun as a form of intimidation toward another resident. A good thing for us firearms owners and supporters of the Second Amendment, I don't see that a lot, but it, unfortunately it does happen a little bit. Um, either they have it on them and they're saying I have it on me or I, I have it and it's at home or they're calling 911 and telling 911 get the police here because I have a gun on me and I'm going to use it if they, they don't hurry up. Or they brandish it, right? Or they brandish it. They brandish it, then you go to jail. Okay, so if, 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 if your life is not in danger, you reach for your firearm and, and you're just mad, you know, somebody took your parking spot mm -hmm. or whatever, you, it's standard procedure that they're going to jail. In the state of Michigan, that's a misdemeanor. You will go to jail. It's a misdemeanor. And I have to believe that's, you know, I know every state's different, but I have to believe that's pretty customary that with, with, with many states that if you brandish, you use it as a form of intimidation, you're going to jail. Definitely. Okay. And... We do see that at times, I know. We, we don't see it a lot, and we don't see it a lot here, but it happens, it happens across the country, everywhere, like I said, I'm always reading police articles about what happened in Arizona, or Florida, or Kansas, or Iowa, and it's always something that somebody somewhere did something with their gun they weren't supposed to, and it landed them in trouble. Seems like Florida's always in the news. Definitely Florida. Florida is always in the news for this kind of stuff. I mean, it's such a beautiful state, but there, there's always some whack job screwing up everything for the good residents of Florida. All right, so, you know, keep your gun holstered, keep it secured if you get pulled over by an officer. If an officer shows up, you're not an extension of law enforcement. Be a good witness is what I tell people. I say, be a good witness. Be, be somebody that is, uh, uh, a wealth of information so that the good guy gets the, the right information and that the bad guy also uh, you know can get prosecuted definitely properly. definitely the best thing you can do is be the best witness even as police officers if there's not a major incident if someone's if life or limb is not in jeopardy our job being off duty we would rather be a good witness and say oh yeah I'm a police officer and pulling guns and badges out you know be, be the best witness you can be all right all right well I appreciate it Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you watching, and you guys be safe.